Hey, hey, comic book community. This is Comic Hunter 1014 coming at you with a. This is not. This is a haul. This is a. Pff, I found some flipping amazing books, man. Oh my gosh. I went in there a second in Charles Day just to. Because I they come my hours back, you know, and I'm only working one day a week, you know, and I, I worked on Monday and usually work on Tuesday nights too, but I didn't work Tuesday nights. So. But, you know, I went in there after work just to go see if they needed any help at all. And they didn't, of course. So I was in the back, you know, because I saw some new comic books in the tubs. And I started going through the tubs again. And, oh, my gosh. <laughs> you just got to just sit back and just chill. I have tons of books here. Um, you know, I just, uh, oh, my God. I'm so excited for what I got, man. I uh, started off especially with this one here. Secret Wars number eight. Oh, my gosh, man. When I saw, like I said, all these, I had most of these books I, I had in my old collection. I, I didn't think I was going to get them for the prices I got them. I mean, I, I pay a little bit, you know, but not as much as I would on eBay. And it's in pretty good condition. I'd say maybe fine minus maybe, um, you know, but, uh, yeah, it's just uh, I got it for, uh, <laughs> for 12 twelve twenty five, man. And at my price, you know, at my, uh, you know, uh, 2NC price, I got it for eight eight $8 and something cents. So it has a couple of, you know, has a couple of tickings on the side there. I mean, the, the color, you know, the, the red's not as red, but I mean, I looked on the inside, inside, all the pages are still, there's no rips, no tears, nothing like that. It's in, oh my gosh, man. I said probably, I say very, I mean, fine minus, I mean, fine minus, at least about 6.0, you know, um, or even a five, five, five or whatever. But yeah, man, to get it for $8 and something cents, oh my gosh, man. But like I said, just to sit back and I got more books coming. <laughs> so... But this is the first one I found right there in the tub. I just, oh my God, I came out with a big old stack. I mean, oh my gosh. Actually, I'm sorry. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm excited as hell. But yeah, this was the this one was the one that I was really happy to get back in my collection. Heck yeah, man. So uh, that one is Secret Wars number eight. Oh yeah, man. And then to get this one. Oh, this is a better condition than the one I had before in my collection. Oh yeah, man. Infinity Gauntlet number one. Man, this is like a very fine... I mean, very fine plus, probably. I mean, the colors are nice and rich and vibrant. I mean, there's, oh my gosh, it's, it's, oh my gosh. I, I got for one, I got these for 188. Uh, yeah, I, I, I got one. <laughs> I got number two. I'm not, I'm, that's, I'm sorry. That's the one I'm missing. I'm missing number two. Uh, that's the only one I'm missing out of this, out of this series right here. So I got, uh, I'm missing number two, but I got number three. And this one's in, I'd say, like, you know, fine minus, you know. I mean, fine plus. Uh, number four. And, and that last one, number three, was new stand edition. Number four is a new stand edition. This one is way better. I think the one I had had the cover was detached. This one is not detached. There's some problem areas, you know, on the top. But like I said, the cover and the colors are, I mean, the colors are, are nice and, you know, nice and rich, you know. So, uh, I mean, like I said, it's, it has maybe, I, I say, fine minus, you know, but uh, had a new stand edition. Ooh, heck yeah, man. And then number five, this one's in very fine condition right here, man. Sure, this is, I mean, the colors are really nice in this one. They really pop on this one. Nothing wrong on this one either. Oh, man. Number five. I got to get them for 188 a piece. And then, of course, number six. Uh, there might be something wrong, I guess. You know, um, maybe a little color rub. But other than that, it's in, <laughs> I'd say maybe fine, fine, maybe fine. I'd say fine condition probably. But this is way better than the one I had in my collection as well, too. But <laughs> so shit, I had those back in my collection. Oh yeah. <clears throat> so now on to the, these are all 50 centers from here on out, man. So I'm not gonna say 50 centers anymore. I'm just gonna say 33 centers, and that's gonna be it. I'm just gonna <laughs> like I said, the prices. I'm just gonna go ahead and <laughs> just go ahead and throw them out here. Oh man, look at this one right here. Oh my gosh, this is my second copy of this one right here. Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man, number 27. I think it's a Frank Miller cover. Oh, man, this one is way better condition than the one I have in my collection as well, too, man. Oh, man, the colors pop so... Oh, my God, they pop so good on this one. The reds, oh, man, it's, it's just nice, clean copy right here. I don't really see anything wrong with it. Um, I haven't really opened it up yet. I don't see any... There's no ticking at all. I mean, there's no color rubs, nothing. Yeah, this is, an, I'd say, fine, very fine. Me, very fine, a fine, very fine plus. And to get it... Okay, these are all 33 cents. That's it. 33 cents? That's all I'm going to say. 33 cents. Bam. Oh, yeah, Captain America. Oh, number 241, the one with him and, and uh, well, Punisher and uh, Captain America. Yeah, I love this cover here, man. Sweet-ass cover, the white. I mean, it's. I'd say it's uh, it's, it's white-worthy, too, man, the way <laughs> Mercer not said. Yeah, it's white-worthy. Heck, yeah, man. The whites pop, all the colors, the red, white, and blue. Oh, my God, they pop. Heck, yeah, man. I never had this one in my collection, but whew. 
Oh my god, I'm so happy to get this one in my collection. And hell yeah, man. This is the one I was oh my god. I didn't think I was get this one back in my collection either, man. But to get it for the price that I did, that is oh, oh my god. I'm just so happy with this. That I'm getting these finding these books and I'm getting them at way better prices than what I got the first time around, man. So and I think the one I had was probably Nissan Edition as well, too. But this is, yeah, this is <laughs> the first appearance of War Machine right here. Man, this is in better condition than the one I had. There's no ticking. Might be a little bit, maybe something right here. I don't know. Maybe I don't know some browning right there on the top. I don't know if you guys can see. You probably can't see it in here, but it's a little browning. But, yeah, oh, my gosh. It's a beautiful condition, man. I'd say very fine, you know, very fine. Maybe mine is probably because of color rub, but oh my gosh, this is a beautiful book, man. To get this back in my collection again. Just so happy to find these books. And I think this is the second appearance of War Machine right here. Um, 283. This one's in good condition as well, too. Yeah, I'd say and they're both yeah, they're both, both new stand edition as well, too. <laughs> oh my god, I just so happy to find these books, man. I just like said when I went with that big old stack, I was like, oh man, hell yeah. Oh yeah, this one right here. Oh my gosh. I was I was like I was I was on eBay trying to look for these books. Secret Wars, I was trying to find, you know, a good price. And I couldn't find any less than 30 bucks. And then, you know, the War Machine, I think it was probably 19 bucks or whatever. But, oh, man, just, like I said, just got to be patient. That's all I can do, man, is be patient. Uh, and this What If the Alien Costume Had Possessed Spider-Man. Whew. Man, I've been wanting this one for a while, too, since I've seen it, man. So, like I said, I was going on eBay. I think they were like 9 or 10 bucks pop, I think. Or maybe a little bit more. I'm not too sure. But this one is, oh, my God. I want to say almost near mint. There is nothing wrong with this book at all. Maybe, oh, I'm sorry, there's probably something wrong on the bottom right right there. Yeah, so maybe not near mint, maybe a very fine. It's a very fine plus, but the pinks pop on this. Oh my gosh, the pinks and the, oh, the blues and the greens. Oh, this is such a, oh, it's on a sick cover too, man. I love it, man. By Milgram. Man, just so happy to get Not only did I get one, <laughs> I got two, man. <laughs> this one is not, the colors aren't as vibrant as on this one right here, but I just noticed these are, Two different, oh my gosh, what if that, huh, I don't know if that means anything or not, let me know guys, that means anything, I don't know, this says UK, I don't know, oh my gosh, I never even noticed that, I don't know if there are two variations, I don't know, huh, I don't know, maybe, I don't know they're different or not, I have no idea, but maybe they just, I don't know, maybe may put, you know, that Spider-Man, the head there, you know, the and then they have the Tom McFarlane 300, you know, Pose right there on that one. I don't know if that's makes it different up. But hey, anyways, got them both for 33 cents. Heck yeah, man. One's in better condition than the other, but still, this one's in way better condition. This one's probably fine, fine minus, but still, jeez. <clears throat> find two of them. Jeez. Oh, man, then find these right here. Marvel Milestone Edition. Man, I did have this one in my collection, but yeah, this is in way better condition than the one I had, too. Heck yeah. And <laughs> Amazing Spider-Man number one. I mean, I know they're not worth that much, maybe a few bucks, but I know the reprintings of them, but still, it's just, uh, I don't mind having these at all, because I definitely can't afford the, the real, no, the, the first printing or whatever. But I got uh, I got Amazing Spider-Man number one, I got Avengers number four, and they're all, like I say, almost near mint to very fine, you know, um, condition as well. Uh, and then I got x-men number one <laughs> i never had this one in my i never had the avengers either on, on my collection on my old collection but i got it now and then i got uh, tales of suspense iron man <laughs> heck yeah when i saw those there man i was like oh hell yeah man pull those out hell yeah and then uh, i think i want to say i'm not sure you guys can correct me if i'm wrong but i want this is the first work that tom mcfarland had did on the, on the whole maybe not i might be lying i don't know but I haven't opened it up either. So I don't know. So, but yeah, I just like this cover, anyways. The reds really pop on this on this on this cover. And shoes. But yeah, that's a beautiful book. Oh my gosh, a nice nice condition. I'd say at least you know very fine, very fine plus. Yeah, so that's a good condition. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I think I got so much more guys and gals. You just have to bear with me. <laughs> so I'm trying to just, I'm trying to rush to them as quickly as possible too. So then we got uh, New Mutants uh, 100. I think it's the second printing. Yeah, heck yeah, man. Shit. Beautiful condition as well, too. I'd say very fine, very fine plus. Never on this one either, so that's a nice one. Yep. Ah, then we have uh, Journey into Mystery Part 2, Quasar's the Tom McFarden cover. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> heck yeah, man. I saw it there, like, yeah, bitch. I, say, I always pick amazing Tom McFarden anyway. I love McFarden's artwork, man. So... And that's a, that's a very yeah, a fine to very fine you know condition. Uh, then we have spectacular spectacular Spider-Man number one forty-eight. I don't I don't know what this one has 
to deal with, but I am, what? What, in Night of the Living Ned? I don't know what the heck that is. I have no idea. But I like the cover, though, man. I mean, I like that zombie, zombified Spider-Man and, you know, Gwen Stacy right there, too, as well. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, Ned Leeds Returns. I don't know who that is, but, yeah, just like the cover. I believe it's a new stand edition as well, too. Uh, then, the, <laughs> that's like my third copy of this one here. Amazing Spider-Man 362. Yeah, this is almost like, almost, no, not near me. Very fine. Very fine minus condition, yeah. So, yeah, that's a good one. Found a couple of amazing Spider-Man aside from that one right there. I got 364, you know, it's in good condition as well, too. And then I got uh, some Spider-Man. <laughs> I like the Spider-Man ones as well, too. Um, in good, very good condition as well. So I got that one, number 10. I got number 11. Like I said, I love this poser here by Todd McFarlane. It's just, I'll pick this up all day long, man. Shit. Number 13. And this is a Morbius one, I think. This has to do with Morbius story. And then the last book that he worked on in Spider-Man was number 16 right here. So that's cool. And then I got another Peter Parker Spectacular Spider-Man number 26. I have no idea what this has to do with but I just saw it in there and it was a cool cover. I was like, hey, yeah, I'll pick it up. Shit. So. <clears throat> All right. I don't know what this is worth anything or not. I don't think it is, but cable number one. I think it's worth a few bucks. So I used to have it in my. I keep on saying I, I these all these books. I most of these books I used to have in my in my old uh, my old uh, collection. You know, but all PC, but not. Yeah, so that's a it's a nice condition book too as well. Very fine, very fine profile. <laughs> and this one right here. Oh my god, I've never seen this one ever out in the wild, man. I always had the white one, the white version of it. But this is the second printing, and uh, yeah, it's in very good condition. I'd say, you know, fine, fine plus condition. I just love Arthur Adams' cover on this one. I mean, the, the, the characters don't really pop because that gold is kind of, it's kind of muddy. But, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I like the white cover better, the white version better. But, you know, still, I mean, uh, like I said, I've never seen it before out in the wild. And just to, to see it there for 33 cents, I guess I'll pick it up. And then the Galactus the Origin, huh. I don't know if this is worth anything or not, but number one, and, you know, Galactus is an awesome character, and I think he might be making an appearance in this endgame. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if he is or not, but if he does, oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a, and it says it's in very good condition as well. It's very fine to find, so. And it's a sensational She-Hulk. I think I, I think I did still have number one. Yeah, it's got the number one sensation. I can't say the sensational she hulk that's a fucking that's a tongue twister for for me anyways it is but yeah it's a nice cover right here with that you know she hulk and spider-man it's not in the best condition i don't know how bad it was my other my other copy i had was way better than this but ah, eh, it's all good and then <laughs> i found these more warlock books yeah i just picked up all the number ones that i had i know there's some other ones that are probably worked a little bit more but yeah it's a little foil cover you know some decent condition as well so got that one and then I got, I've never seen this one before, and Warlock Special Edition number one. i never seen this one, so I just picked this up just for the hell of it, you know. So it's a wraparound. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You notice that. Um, so that's a cool cover. And Warlock and the Infinity Watch number one. Yep, got that one as well. And then I had New Mutants 85. I thought this was the one that had the first uh, cameo appearance of the cable, but it's not. I think it's 80, 86. Yeah, so <laughs> I always got these two mixed up. So I picked up, like, ah, damn, it's not the right one. But anyway, it's all good. So the, I mean, the, the has a big has a massive spiral on it. It's not <laughs> so. Oh well. Oh man, then <laughs> I used to have a, a a whole bunch of transformers. I think they were low print run. I think that's why they were worth some money. And uh, I had sold them off, you know. And uh, so I, mean, I had a, I made a pretty. I only bought them for like maybe five bucks and sold them for like 65, 70 bucks, you know. But there were some in there that were worth a little bit more than that, but they weren't in the best condition either, so that's why I, I, I took the price I did. I'll put them at the price I did. But anyways, yeah, man, when I saw these sitting in there, I got uh, 72, and I think I have um, I have 70 and 72. And I looked it up on eBay before I made this video, and uh, that Transformers number 70, I think it was, I think the lowest was one for nine ninety nine. I think, and this is in, I'd say, fine, fine condition. This one's probably fine, fine minus condition. I mean, except for that color rubbing or whatever that is right there, smudging. Um, but they're both new stand edition as well, and like I said, I think that one was going for like uh, I think nine. They're both like the, the lowest uh, lowest price I saw on on eBay was nine nine nine. That was you know decent condition. Um, so I mean, if I can you know, if I can make a few bucks on this one, heck yeah, man, just hold on to them. I don't know yet. 
But you can always have these in there. Hell yeah, man. Shit. <clears throat> All right, now we're moving on to DC. That was all the Marvel books I found. Oh my gosh, that was so awesome. Uh, yeah, I don't know anything about these uh, DC books. I think I'm more Marvel, I guess. So even though I do like Batman. I am a Batman fan. So, But uh, I don't know if this is not the one that's worth any money. I don't think it is. Um, but I remember seeing this one in some of you guys' videos. So, man, maybe it's worth a few bucks. And it's in pretty decent condition as well, too, you know. Yeah, it's in, I would say maybe... No. Fine, it's fine minus by condition. Yeah, the new stand edition as well too. So it's a sick cover right there. <laughs> and then they have Supergirl number one. Uh, I don't know if this one's worth tending or not. But anyways, I just number one, Supergirl, heck yeah. Just picked it up, you know, what the hell. And then Superman, um, Crossover Legends, chapter 17, number three. Uh, I just like because Dark Side, it's a, it's a nice cover too as well. I like the cover, I like Dark Side holding Superman by his cape is pretty cool. I don't think I've ever seen this one before either. Not now in the wild. I don't think I've ever seen anyone show this one, but I don't think it's worth it either. But anyways, I like <laughs> that one's gonna go along with the other one I, I had found. I don't think it's this one exactly, but um, it's something similar to this one. Yeah, I just like that face of Joker on there <laughs> and Superman's costume. That's sick as hell. So that's a cool, and it's a newsstand edition as well too. Yeah. And then Superman, and it could be your last. I don't know. <laughs> I think I may have seen it before when you guys in some of you guys' videos. But yeah, the colors pop. And the yellows are really nice and bright as well, too. Yeah, it's a nice cover. A nice color, you know. I like the colors pop, so. And then, yeah, this one, uh, Batman number 500. Oh, yeah, I like the die cut one. It's in really good condition, too. I'd say, like, maybe. Oh, man, there's like a little thing right there, it looks like, in the bottom. But um, can't really see it because the light, the light in here is kind of bad. But come on, focus. There it is. Yep. But other than that, probably five minus. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then, like I said, number one, Blue blue Devil. Man, just picked it up for the hell of it. What the hell? What the hell? If he makes an appearance someday, <laughs> maybe my work a little bit. I don't know. If that's his very first appearance, I don't know. But <clears throat> and then I got these flash books just because I like the, I like the artwork on it. I like the covers that you really draw. I was drawn in. You know, I was drawn into them. You know, um, the covers themselves. And you know, they just drew me. Oh, they drew me in, you know, so. Uh, I think it's Dick Gir Giordano, yeah. I love his artwork anyways on Batman he did. and Yeah, I know he did The Flash too, but that's a sick cover right there. I like that one. And it's a new stand edition as well. It's 276. This is 277. Mm -hmm. And then we got 288. Yeah, man, I like these covers. They're nice. And then we got Green Lantern Core. core. Um, just guys because I like the cover. I like Kilowog and... I can't remember who that guy is. I don't know who the other characters are, but yeah, I just got over the hell of it. And then <laughs> I didn't even realize I threw this one in my in a lot of books that I found, but I'm glad I did. Uh, Lobo convention special. I know it's not worth anything, but you know, um, Lobo's a sick ass character, anyways, man. So <laughs> yeah, it's like Lobo on all these like uh, fuck, you know, first appearance of Batman right there. He's on his face is on everything, right? <laughs> so that's kind of cool. Oh man, I didn't even know that's all. that almost looked like a Marvel like um Captain America's cover right there. I don't know what what the heck is that? That that's crazy. Huh. And that should be like that's I think that's almost like um uh the human torch uh cover that Marvel did. Huh, I don't know why they did that. But anyways, yeah, it's <laughs> it's pretty cool anyways. So that's all the DC books. Sorry about taking so long, boys and girls, but <laughs> like I said, I just I went in there and bought a whole bunch of crap, man. I wasn't gonna let him go for the prices I got. I saw him at the hand. I'll let him go. Um, <clears throat> then I, oh, I, I love, I've always been a, you know, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you know, fan. And I just can't. Uh, I, 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 I got rid of most of my books, man. But I saw this one number one. I don't know Solson. I don't know what the heck this is. Uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. This is Eastman and Lars. I don't. I don't know if this is uh, worth anything or not. But whatever. Just picked it up because I've never seen this cover before. I don't think I've ever seen this book anywhere. So I just said, oh, what the hell. And, of course, I wish this was a new stand edition, but it's not. But, like I said, it's in decent condition. You know, I'd say, you know, fine, fine, I mean, not fine, very fine, very fine, you know, minus condition. Um, then I got number two as well. I don't know if it has a, oh, it does have, it has a coupon in it, which is good. I didn't even look at the coupon. It has one ding right here, which you probably can't see because the ding foil on it. But, anyways, it has a little, little pretty big ding on it. But other than that, I mean, it's in pretty good condition. And Savage Dragon. Yeah, man. Heck yeah. I got one. <clears throat> I got two. 
And I got three. And then this one right here, I love this one by Jim Lee. Oh my gosh. I love this cover right here. It's a sick cover. Animals running and running down, but right, boys and girls, almost to the end here. <laughs> oh yeah, now what would my <laughs> what would my haul videos be without it? Spawn. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna pick these up all day long. You know what? <laughs> I saw one in there the other day, and it was uh, they had it listed for nine. So whoever put the price on was nine nine nine. Then to see this one here for fifty cents, I'm like, holy shit, man! So I got number one for fifty cents. The only thing that's wrong with it has like a little ding up here at the top. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's right there, right there so but other than that i mean this is it's a it's a pretty decent condition yeah i don't know if it has the, the poster inside or not but like i said i'm not leaving anything by tom far on there man shit so and especially spawn oh my gosh so i got number one i got number two i wish these were all newsstand but nope number three <laughs> number six number seven number eight Number 10, I got 13, I have 14, the last one is 16. Oh. <laughs> so, I was just so happy just to have all these books. It just, uh, oh my gosh, this is probably one of my best picks, you know, that I got. And for the prices I got them at, man, I'm still just stop pinching myself like, man, I can't believe I got all those books. I paid maybe around... I want to say 30 bucks for everything that I just showed every I showed you guys and gals. So, but hey, I just want, I'm sorry it was so, such a long video. But I just bought a ton of them. I was excited for what I, for what I found. I just wanted to share with you guys and gals. So I hope you guys all have a great weekend. And this is Comic Country 1014 signing off. Cheers, everybody.